Geeky! Greetings everybody! I'm Foxy Key and welcome to Subnautica and the quality this game deserves. My last stream was a mess. I'm really sorry for it. I hope that it will be better because this game is a lot of just swimming around and collecting resources and it could be boring and it's a pain in the ass to edit in the right way. I don't know if I'm experienced enough to make it a good edit but we'll see. Um, I want to start a complete new game because my um, stream wasn't that good, I couldn't see anything. I mean, look at the water effects. Look at it. And with my dinosaur of a PC, look at this water effects. So if you haven't played this game, if you've never heard anything about this game, get it. Get it. You, you, you won't regret it. Even if you're not into the story and you don't like the building and the, the visuals alone and the sound effects and the musics and... Oh, it's such a good game. Enough of me geeking out. <laughs> I have time, I plenty of time to geek out later. So, let's delete. Let's delete the game we started as my stream and dive right into it. So she is back on the menu, guys. And I want to play survival again. There was a full release. again. That game is so great. There we are. Yep, fire. Fire is hot. Let me you know. There we are. Pretty. So pretty is this game. You have suffered minor head trauma. I noticed. This is considered an optimal outcome. Great. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Thank you so much. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Thank you. So I'm um, excellent. Excellent. So I'm in the tutorial now. Kind of tutorial. I don't have to play it again. I'm on day one and we are here on a little alien planet in our uh, safe capsule. Or s <sighs> what was the pot called? Failure. Yeah. Cause I'm unknown. Know. Zero human life signs detected. What am I? If there are zero human life signs, what am I? So, uh, no. Welcome. So this is this game in a way better quality than my stream would allow. And it is so pretty. I mean the clouds, the fire and smoke effects, the water effects. I mean this isn't even the highest that the water effects can possibly do, but it still looks so mean. I mean it, it, in my PC, you can see the lines and the waves. Waves. 
but it is such an amazing game. Oh, there it is, Red Moon, there's this. I call it the Blood Moon and the Silver Moon. And during daytime you can only see the Blood Moon. It's just my way of hello. You are gasopods out here, I think. Those, those farting manatees over there. Let's dive in. I need to. I need to be on oh, this game. This is pretty. And as I told on my stream that you can totally ignore, totally ignore my stream lifebots. Lifebots, I think it's called. Um, Subnautica is kind of um, a tradition of my channel because some of the first videos. I mean, I started with Assassin's Creed 1 because I wanted to start with a game that I know well to get used to commentate while I'm playing. And uh, after I felt confident enough, I started with the pre release of uh, Subnautica. Oxygen. I noticed. Thank you, mother. I made a few recordings, but it's just two, but nobody was watching, so I stopped it and played it for myself. Get in, get in the lifeboat. And I stopped it so I know a little bit what to do in this game. Um, on a certain point, I stopped playing it totally. I stopped in sometimes in summer, maybe August, um, yeah, July or August. I stopped playing this game totally because um, there were rumors that this game would be released in September, and I don't want to like ruin for myself the experience of being in this world. So I stopped playing this game and was waiting for the release and. Now the release is fun. Yeah, I can make a tank, that's nice. Get some oxygen in my lungs. That's much better. Um, do I need any second armor? What's gonna do? I don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Okay, don't need that. Yeah. I need ingots and I need a water buffalo. So I know a little bit about this game. And I watched other YouTubers play it. Because it was fun to watch. It is so, but we all got our own style, I think. So I need food, I need water, I need a knife. Yeah, and I need this tutorial thing. Um, I mean, there was a saying, I think, I don't know who it was, who said like, um, copper, copper is an essential is nice. component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Great. So I usually make like. Find a nice spot somewhere below my flight pot and deposit a huge bunch of titanium in there. They stay kind of in this place, so I don't need the locker. It's the rare occasion that one of the stalkers come over and pick those and stuff up. So I need to eat something, and that is stupid. Oh, this music. And I really, once again, I want to switch, switch. I want to thank Jack Septicai, who was one of the first tubers who. No, not, not drop. Eat. Not pick it up and eat it. Um, who played Subnautica and who helped make this game possible. It sounds weird, but um, the developers even thanked him kind of some gimmicks that he could download for himself and stuff. Which direction was it help first? Was it? Were there? I think there might be. Hey! There's a reef back in the background. So it was him who made it kind of accessible for everybody. Is this the right direction? No. Don't let me guess. I'm swimming in the wrong direction. So typical of me. Oh, the sound is on. It feels like you are faster on the surface. That's amazing. Not right. So, yeah. I don't know if he was the first YouTuber you played, but he was one of the like, most influential who played this game and kind of make it accessible for the broad audience. So everybody noticed it. It, it is amazing! I have to orient myself. 
eleven. I once knew my ways around and had some recipes. Just knowing what to do and what to need. It's so pretty. And what I personally love about this game is the way it. No, crawfish! Leave me alone! Once it was called crawfish powder, I think, and not cave soup or not. Whatever, I don't need it. And later, I'm still looking for coal. That's a lot. I feel kind of stupid. Well, this must be somewhere around. Yeah. Well, the first episodes will. Ah, there it is. There it is. So I need a knife. I need a scanner. I need a repair tool. Um, and a habitat builder. Hello, Stalker. You picked a big chunk of titanium there. So I need some cluster seeds. Yellow shoots, and I have to get close to a stalker to get some. And I don't like it because it could be. Without a radio, and this game is like oh, the ocean is like the deep space. We don't know anything about it. We know more about. Uh, acquired. We know more about life on this planet grows it's in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Mm. Further study recommended. Oh, I'll study this ecosystem. Oh, believe me, I'll study this ecosystem. We know more about our own solar system, we know about our oceans. And it's kind of a sad thing, you know, that nobody really cares about the oceans, which are the majority of our planet, to be honest. So this game is really nice to be in the ocean and on an alien planet. And what I also like, it is a survival game. Definitely a survival building game. Sometimes even a survival horror game. I think of the huge Leviathan there will be there. <coughs> Not low repair, I'm still gonna And make things, but I first need to... That's more important than the knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. And usually you got, got stuff like, uh, I don't know, uh, a crash land with plane. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment. Using locally available materials. I can make For your patch. safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Yeah, whatever. Anything more? Oh, God. More spaces. This is one. The path is three, it's five. There's me, I got my cave so far. No, yeah, we're not gonna have it. And, um. I love this. Games, especially. Always the wrong button. That will happen many times. And I need a scanner. This was a scanner. And a battery and a titan. Build the scanner. Huh. Oh, in that time. Alright. <sighs> Quite easily. Um, I love this game in particular has like a crash land with a plane. And I don't know. Have to look for your son or for your wife or new creature discovered. New creature discovered. Or new alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien well, resources is a proven survival strategy. Uh, is it so? Come here, peeper. Come here, peeper. Peeper. New creature Got discovered. <laughs> Got the peeper. And let me get some letter fish for water. And maybe I'll be able to catch a boomerang too. But this game this game is not like go and find a comrades or anything. Yet like um for some we learn from the lore that we are kind of a builder, like an engineer. We're here to build a warp gate. Who's later, but as well as that. Increase Oops. local radiation levels. Sorry. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. 
That is, that's the blood moon. I call it. Nice view. So this is, for me personally, this is a blood moon. And this is a silver moon. I just call them that way. No, but in this game you don't have, like, strict quest or a strict goal. You just land here and have to survive. That's the beginning of everything. So. Uh, I don't know why I got to build a battery. I got enough to build a battery. And with the battery I can not. That's why I always keep a pile of titanium at the bottom of my <laughs> light pot. Because it's okay. I don't fill my inventory stuff. Tools, I mean, the scan. Right. But the scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Yeah. Uh. Look at the fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of yep. the skeletal structure, know, mother. bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. I know what's I know. So. I got food at the moment. The last thing I got is scanner and two. And now it's time for me to repair my stuff in here. Repair my life pot. Hey, party pot. Life pot secondary systems are there we go. running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Everything is back to standard. And I want to have. What? Yeah, I looked at those. Thank you. Uh, I need supports. So I need my scanner really. It's really necessity and uh, med kit. And repair our transmitter to get some messages. Hello, Radio. Radio. Hello. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff you want to hear when you're stuck on an alien planet, isn't it? Sergeant Badness. No, I don't sound like a And while you're trying to survive, <laughs> on this alien planet, huh? and you find ways of surviving. There will be a lot of me is just scanning stuff. Uh, you unravel the story bit by bit. You know, I already know it. Don't I? So it's like. I don't know, man. It's like it's a nice thing that you usually don't have in a game. Any kind of game gives you a strict line of what to do and when to do what. Why are you swimming away from me? Well, let's find some sea glide parts. Hopefully. Thirty seconds. Whoops. I forgot I only got the small tank and then a bigger tank. So in this game you unravel the story while trying to survive. This is nice. It's so fresh and new. And um, the first early access was hard for the secret fragment. Yes! And another one. Um I'm here, Rabbit Ray, I want to scan you so I know you. No, no, stay here! Really? Stay badfish! Rabbit Rays. Oh. No, this is first. Stop, um. Don't fart at me. 
Hey, we're back, so let's see who was there. Well, the first game was almost only um, like survival on the basic form, like you all land here and know what's going on at all, and you um, just try to find a way around, find parts, build space, uh, interact with the environment, as so you can discover stuff and have some fun. Nice and fun and easy going game. And after there was, um, I think the developers were certain that there are enough people who downloaded this game and started to play this game, they started to. <gasps> a beacon! Oh, beacon! Beacon on there! So many beacons too. Don't fart at me all the time! Oh, come on! It's disgusting! Then they started to implement more of the stories. 30 seconds. So the first. Man, this is almost that stupid. Um, so the first precursor bases came, and the first huge creatures came. And, um, I think this main. It's called Sea Light! Yes! Blueprint acquired. Draft trap. I don't know what a draft trap is. So, like the first real story elements came relatively late in the Alexis phase. But it's nice to keep the game Whoa! new and fresh, if you ask me. It's a craft trap. I don't know what a draft trap is. Do we know? Well, let's build a secret. Well, let's look what I need there, see that. <laughs> and I think I always can let it like a whole episode like this because I'm talking so much. There's not much editing necessary at the Battery level can copper wire and titanium. So all I need is copper to make copper wire and a copper to make the battery. I got enough clusters to make lubricant and I got mushrooms to make a battery. So I need two of those. Why are they already old? Let's eat them. Eat them all up. Make lubricant. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. I know. Thank you. I know. So, I stopped the episode right here. It's a little bit shorter than it was in the live stream, but it's a normal episode. So, I record more, and I think this one really kind of unedited. Kind of. I think. I think that's pretty nice, pretty neat. And I hope you enjoy, and I hope you enjoy the better quality, especially. So I will be playing a lot of more of this game. There will be, if I can stick to my plan, it will be twice a week will be a Subnautica episode. If I'm able to do it, it's, uh, I know. Oh, the day needs, I don't know, 24 hours and the night to work for me. That's not, uh, uh, I handed my trouble. Hey, Black Moon, that's so sweet. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please, let, um, Leave a comment, like, and subscribe for hopeful and more content. Never forget, being weird is a side effect of being awesome and don't get wet feet. That's my job. So, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, tally ho!